uh, to activities. Uh, for example, of scavenging animals. Okay, uh, plants. And of course, and microorganisms, that means decomposition, that means plant they will grow on it or whatever, so at the end the material will decompose. Okay, or of course, or decomposition by microorganism, either bacteria or fungi. Okay, now. Now, of course, now basically what happened is this uh, thing different now. Now, with explosion, or with explosive, a human population okay, growth with the explosive the human particular and also and development of the modern industrial society. Okay, industrial uh, society. Okay. Of course, not even here. The quantity, one thing is the quantity, and also the uh, types. And at the same time, and source of waste produced, of course, produced by human, uh, changed radically. Okay. Mention a few points in this regard here. Now, today, as a matter of fact, we have this point here. Uh, today, that much of a human waste, okay, uh, simply to mention, no longer. Uh, cycle freely, okay, okay, and rapidly, okay, but too often okay simply meet a dead end. Okay.
Now, basically, to mention, of course, what you call here. In general, I'm going to mention this point here, of course, now these days that West, okay, has diverse now, has diverse, okay, uh, sources, and the properties, and at the same time, and varies with level, what you call it, of economic development, of economic uh, uh, development. Okay. Of course, as you know, most of the time people really everywhere try to generate what is known as a solid waste. Okay, I'm going to talk about this solid waste, basically what is, okay, what is about here, okay? Now, unless we call it the municipal solid waste, okay? Uh, just to make sure this point here, while, uh, in general, while people everywhere, okay, uh, generate, okay, solid wastes, okay, and of course what happened here, uh, these of course solid waste is uh, going to be huge or large, for example, in the cities, it depends, you know, uh, in the cities, okay, uh, because where is basically most of the people concentrate, so there is no need to mention, okay? Uh, solid waste now. And basically now to mention to you here now that we call the municipal, solid waste, and sometimes we use this abbreviation for it, MSW, okay? Uh, which include, of course, I'm going to move all, all the tab what we have here at the moment, include all uh, 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 solid waste, okay, which is basically either from an institution, okay, households, and also, and businesses. Okay, and businesses. Uh, okay. And as a matter of fact, in addition to whatever they put down here, but because of this variety now it's happening, that means each type have to be really treated differently, okay? And to make this point here, okay? Now, there are, okay, many uh, different, Uh, types of solid wastes. Okay, which is I mentioned, okay, 
simply, of course, which must be handled differently. Handled, I'm going to put down here differently before I move to another page. Okay. <clears throat> uh, usually what happened here, for some reason, it seems the, the banks, the word banks, as a matter of fact, classify, okay, for what well, I don't know what the reason for that, the word banks, classify, which is known as the municipality solid waste, put it down here, MSW, okay, more or less into six categories. Into basically organic, Okay, plastic, glass, metal, and others. Okay. Now, so this is in general going to talk about that, all this one here, basically. Now, here we have subtitle now, uh, Properties of Hazardous Waste. If you finish from this one, I'm going to put it here. Waste. Okay. Now, usually, what uh, to see what is the definition according to some of what you call the USA Environmental Protection Agency. Okay, what they define by hazardous waste. Now, to mention uh, this point here. Now, the USA. Uh, environmental uh, protection uh, agency, okay, uh, defies okay, or defines, sorry, defines minus, hazardous waste. Okay, as having, okay, a chemical, okay, composition, okay, or other properties. Okay, that makes it okay, capable, okay, of causing put it down for you here, of causing. Okay, illness, death, or 
or some other harm okay the human and also an other life form that means if when mismanaged or released into the environment. Down here. So basically that is more or less the definition or to call it of the uh, according what is the properties of a hazardous waste, okay? And as a matter of fact, we're going to mention the, uh, the categories. We're going to mention the, some of them now. Uh, to point it now, the, the hazardous waste categories, or in general to mention, the hazardous waste, okay, uh, has basically any of the following properties. Okay, uh, one here going to mention, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, as flammable. Okay. Now basically it's a flammable, basically that means any substances Okay, uh, that as a matter of fact, that ignite and burn, okay, quickly and easily. Okay. And of course, some of these chemicals could be ignited spontaneously, sometimes by uh, friction or that. If you want, I will mention it down for you here. Okay. And this can, can be spontaneous. And this, okay, uh, uh, can be spontaneously. <clears throat> Okay. Ignite. Okay. A from, as I mentioned to you here, a from a friction. Okay. Or sometime uh, absorption of moisture. Okay, or sometimes, of course, in contact with other substances, or uh, contact, okay, with other waste material. So this is basically under the, uh, what you call, uh, <coughs> uh, flammable. And also we have this known as what you call reactive. The other part known as reactive. Okay. That basically reactive, basically this one basically include these substances, which in general means unstable substances.
uh, substances that uh, simply readily undergo okay a violent chemical change a violent chemical change when it when it is in contact okay with other substance with other substance or substances, especially with water. Okay. Then we have the other one, as you mentioned, one is uh, flammable. This one is reactive. Now we have this one known as corrosive. Okay, now uh, this is basically include any strong acid. Which is basically usually uh, with the pH of two or less. Okay. Or less. Or they are, or in some cases, could be a strong base, or a strong base. In this case, basically, a pH of a 12 or more, or greater. Okay. Now, because what happened here, that these substances, as a matter of fact, able, able to penetrate surface, of, especially, of course, the membrane of living organism. That's the point here. Okay, to mention, basically, that these substances, sorry, uh, these uh, substances, okay, can, okay, of course, permanently, damage, this is LY here, uh, damage, a variety, of surfaces, okay, including, of course, living tissue. Okay. Living tissues. Uh, uh, before I forget, it seems that basically uh, uh, that when I mentioned uh, I did the Zoom link, it seems uh, uh, I have to make a new one and send it to you for uh, if there is going to be a lecture on a Friday, okay? Just to let you know. So this is basically what we got. I think we have flammable, reactive, corrosive. Now we're going to have what you call on this page here, okay? The other one we're going to have basically toxic. Okay. Toxic, basically, which is mean by toxic in this case, which relatively low amount of these substances
of these substances, okay, are, harm, are, are harmful to living organisms. Now, as you know, simply as a matter of fact, when you have something with these categories, that means they cannot, as a matter of fact, mention, of course, in this case, with this regard here, that, that hazardous waste in this case, okay, cannot uh, be handled Okay, or treated, okay, or stored okay, in the same way as other categories. As other uh, categories. Okay. Uh, so basically, we'll talk about this. And then, uh, of course, to mention another point here, just a subtitle. Of course, now basically, that what you call this salt waste basically is becoming a real problem, and to have an idea about their magnitude. Okay. Now, to mention this point here, subtitle. Municipal solid waste management Okay, management is a growing problem Okay. Uh, uh, to mention a few lines in this regard here, of course, that, of course, around the globe, if you finish from this one here, then I will put it down here. Okay. Uh, around the globe, Okay, uh, the amount of what you call municipal solid waste, okay, general, generating okay, the amount of solid waste generating basically is soaring. Just to give you an example, as for example, as of 2002, just over 600 million metric tons Okay, of municipal solid waste was being, okay, generated per year.
Okay. Imagine this is about in 2002, I guess so, yes, in 2002, this one here, while, for example, and in the following. Okay, in the following 10 years. Okay, the number. As a matter of fact, doubled to almost to 1.3 billion metric tons. Tons. Okay, and expect that, of course, by almost by 2025, which is not very far from now, okay, it, it may increase to close over the two billions or more, okay, and to make sure this point here, and, okay, and by uh, 2025, okay, the, the total course is expected uh, to increase okay to approximately two over more than 2.2 billion, okay, metric tons. Of course, of what's called of municipality solid waste, okay, and of course also per year, okay. Intervention basically, okay, some of the type here. And even, of course, that uh, calculation of per, uh, per a person, going to mention to you here, and uh, uh, seems to just to mention uh, as a statistic here, and the amount of waste okay, uh, between Uh, 2002 and uh, 2012, okay, an individual okay, uh, produced okay, uh, doubled okay, Basically, as you mentioned, from approximately point six uh, kilogram, okay, uh, to one point two. Uh, kilograms per day, okay, these are from, of course, from 0.6 to 1.2 per day from this year here, and of course, that basically, and to mention this point here, and these numbers, of course, are predicted Okay, to rise by 
by nearly 20% or more, of course, by the year 2025. Okay. Now, automation, of course, what you call here, this uh, some of the type here, in which basically it try to point out some of these waste and there. Okay, just uh, okay. Now, now what we have here basically that. For example, when we talk about food waste, okay, uh, simply to mention in this regard here, for example, the Natural Resource Defense Council, called the Natural. Uh, resources, the uh, defense uh, council, okay, as an advisor, as a matter of fact, here, okay, has estimated. Okay, uh, that about 40% uh, of our food goes to waste. Okay. Now to mention, of course, what is the impact of this? Okay, uh, of course, some people they say this is already what is, you know they are degradable, but in reality they have other factor which we're going to mention to you here now. Uh, just to mention it, of course, that one may say or may think okay that okay. Uh, that basically that food and other organic waste okay are biodegradable I'm going to finish it here, are biodegradable. Okay. Now, even though that such waste Okay, uh, such waste as a matter of fact, okay, uh, is filling is filling up, okay, the countries okay, uh, sorry, the countries 
uh, it's better to the countries landfills did you finish on this one here okay put it down here uh, basically it's filling up the country's landfills okay and also as it decomposes and as it decomposes uh, due to the action of course bacteria fungi and other okay and as it decomposes the due uh, to the actions okay of bacteria fungi and some species of insect and also some species of insects okay these basically they release uh, uh, as a matter of fact, okay, what you as already mentioned that, okay, it releases what you call uh, what the cli uh, climate warming, which is the methane gas. It releases climate, okay, warming. Methane into the atmosphere. I remember when we talk about this one of these gases into the atmosphere. Uh, now this is one thing. In addition, this is just one aspect of that. Just you know to mention it. In addition. Okay. You mentioned that of course because some of the sources which are really in the in the soil they are uh, 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 finite sources. It means they are not indefinite. Okay. In addition, for example, we call finite. Okay, uh, source resources. Okay, uh, such as the phosphate, okay, such as the phosphate in fertilizer. Okay, used, which is basically to grow the food. Okay, are removed. Okay, they are removed from the earth system and of course because they put them in different way basically in landfill okay and located away in landfills 
Okay, so there's just a few points to give you the aspect of these things here. Okay. Now we're going to talk about other thing which is really okay. And the reporting basically the plastic waste. Okay. Uh, of course, as uh, basically most of our product in the beginning to mention some point here. Uh, everything or the originally of it, it is natural, but when they go through the process of uh, industrialization, then they will change it to different form, which becomes really undegradable. To mention this point. Now, uh, basically, as you know, that all of our products begins all of our products Uh, begins basically as naturally basically occurring substances as naturally occurring uh, substances okay including for example The crude oil, okay, but of course, as you know, but through manufacturing, but of course, through manufacturing, they undergo Okay, the process undergo the process, undergo process of heating okay, molding coloring or also at the same time, or are chemically changed. Okay. And what happened here that most of these, the end the product, it become basically more or less undegradable. That would happen here, and that's the result, okay. And this is the point here in this case. So the end products, okay. in many cases, okay, are non degradable or non biodegradable. Okay. Uh, and in this case means what happened here, that in other words, that basically that means the living organism that living organism cannot break them down.
okay? And of course, that means in, in the other word was going to happen here, that the carbon and the hydrogen and all the other material which are being uh, used are locked in these substances and they cannot go, uh, go back again to the ecosystem. That would mean, okay? To make sure this point here, down as a consequence, <clears throat> as a consequences or as consequence, okay, the elemental components. Okay, which is mentioned as mainly that carbon and hydrogen. Okay, of these substances, Okay, so in that case, basically the carbon and hydrogen of these substances has remained locked down in this, what you call the new form, indefinitely. Okay. And basically as a result, for example, all these uh, plastic and others accumulate all over, make this point here. And now, and to mention, of course, and because, which is already, I think we referred to it shortly before. And because plastic, okay, are not biodegradable, are not biodegradable, they accumulate also in addition. They accumulate, okay, in waste dump, okay, and more significantly, basically, a natural ecosystem. Okay. And even, of course, you don't need to mention, of course, some of this plastic will end up to the ocean. And I mentioned to you before, basically, some of them are. Uh, uh, the ocean, on the beaches, all over the place, and even I mentioned there is a jar in the in the ocean, almost in the size of Texas or something like that. Okay. Now, to mention a few lines in this regard here. Okay. Now. In general, I'm going to mention, of course, the dominant waste in all these patches of uh, where are the plastic, whether in the ocean or in the land or in the rivers or of place, basically they range, of course, from a big chunk to a microscopic pa particle. I'm going to see the impact of that. Uh, to mention this point here, the dominant waste in all these patches 
I mean of the plastic, okay? The dominant, okay? A waste, uh, and all these patches, okay? of plastic, okay, uh, ranging from a large chunk or chunks, of course, to microscopic particles. Okay, so there was that here. Let me. <clears throat> okay. Now, to talk about this plastic as a matter of fact here, to mention this point here, of course. Now, the impact of this plastic waste Okay, the impact of this uh, plastic uh, waste, okay, of course, goes beyond its, its physical effect. Okay. Now, to mention, for example, that, for example, that plastic debris in the oceans okay, allows, this is allows, of course, a persistent organic pollutant. Persistent organic uh, pollutant or pollutants uh, such as uh, PCDS, which is basically stands for polychlorinated biophenols, known as uh, polychlorinated okay, biophenols okay, to enter, as already maybe you know, to enter basically the marine food chain. Okay, to enter the marine food chain. Now, what happened here to mention, okay, and while now basically these pollutant
which is mentioned the, the PCBS, okay? Now these pollutants are not very soluble on water. In water, okay. What happened here? They abs they absorb absorb. Okay, sorry, they absorb on plastic particles. Okay. And in this case, of course, later on they can be released into the, what you call, the animal tissue and so on. And particles and the intimation, and then of course can be released. Okay, into tissues. I will remove this one if you finished it from here. Okay, let's do it. Okay, and to release, okay, into the, okay, uh, into tissues. Okay, of animals. Of course, ingesting them. Okay. Now, and also to mention the other point, and also because these compound, not to mention because uh, these compounds okay, uh, biomagnify. You see, biomagnify of her, their concentrations. They biomagnify their uh, concentrations, okay? In this case, they can be substantial. what you call in a variety of uh, popular uh, seafood. Okay. All right. Let me just to uh... Did you follow this one here? Okay. Now also to mention there is another type of waste as a matter of fact, or hazardous waste also on the rise. We're going to talk about it here. Okay, I'm not talking about all the other things coming from the factories and so on, which is what we get here, okay? And to make, of course, some title here, okay? That a new forms of hazardous waste are on the rise. Thank you. 
okay? Now to mention some of these, basically. The two countries, of course, are producing these hazardous waste at the moment, of course, uh, basically United States and China, and there are other countries also which is coming on the way. Okay, to mention to you here this point, for example. Uh, the generation of hazardous waste Waste by uh, United States and uh, China, okay, which is basically at the moment considered the world's uh, two largest economy. Okay, economies increased uh, by approximately uh, forty percent and a twenty percent, respectively. Okay. And also, also there is also a mention also there is also an increase of about twelve percent. Okay, uh, in hazardous waste. Okay, uh, by almost by forty three countries. Okay, over only of a period. That is all what we mentioned about this that. Uh, Twelve percent, forty percent. That all occur as a matter of fact in a period of three years. Okay, to mention to you here, okay, of just okay, uh, over a period of just three years, they were they did this calculation from two thousand four and two thousand six. Okay. And now basically we're going to mention about some of these waste because it's already now have to end my lecture now. Like for example, electronic waste. And electronic waste basically sometimes you find most of the time when you have your iPhone, cell phone, all these. Uh, sometimes they, uh, what you call, the recycling, they take them to China. And usually they find, them, for example, I'm just to, to mention at the moment, usually they use like teenager to dismantle all these. And some of them, these, some of the thing within these contain quite a bit of mercury. And even they find most of these children or teenagers 
that the level of mercury in their blood has been increased. Hopefully, I may be able to talk about this as I mentioned to you next lecture, which is could be which is, is going to be your last lecture, or if I find a way basically to you know what you call to scan it and send it to you. In that case, basically, I will try to uh, avoid it. Uh, do you follow me here, please? Yes or no? Okay, so basically, going to start from here. Basically, the electronic waste or electronic waste. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any question, please? That's it. Everything okay? Well, in that case, I guess I will uh, say goodbye. Wish you good luck, okay? And also, I'm going to send you, of course, uh, what you got, what you call, to your final exam, uh, to uh, what the style, uh, either I'm going to do it the same way as I did before by sending it to you by email at the beginning of the exam, or we'll find it anyway. If there is any change, I will let you know. Okay. Okay, I guess everything should be clear now, and I will talk to you later, hopefully. Have a good day. Take care.